Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny. This is the Identity Property of Multiplication. You'll remember in the last video that I mentioned that memorizing the multiples of one was very easy to do. Why was that? It has to do with the identity property of multiplication. Let's look at an example. Here is a group of three. There is one group of three. According to the identity property of multiplication, one group of three is equal to three, or one times three is equal to three. Here is a group of five. There is one group of five. According to the identity property of multiplication, one group of five is equal to five, or one times five is equal to five. And here is a group of four. There is one group of four. According to the identity property of multiplication, one group of four is equal to four, or one times four is equal to four. The identity property of multiplication helps us identify multiples of one quickly and easily. For example, one times eight is equal to eight. One times four is equal to four. One times 29 is equal to 29. Nine times one is equal to nine. Three times one is equal to three. 57 times one is equal to 57. Again, this explains why the multiples of one are quick and easy to learn. It may be that you are actually not memorizing these. Instead, you are using a mathematical idea that can help you understand far beyond the chart. And it also explains why you can instantly know the answer to a question you've never heard before, like, what is 207 times one? In the next video, we are going to see another very powerful idea that has to do with place value. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whitewarney, and this is the Identity Property of Multiplication.